It's time for another grocery refill and I got some new goodies. I got this set of refrigerator organizing bins. So I'm just unboxing those. And these are perfect to be able to put individual items into to keep them all categorized and in place. But that way you don't have to fuss with the cardboard boxes that they come in because those are annoying and ugly. So this is really adding a lot of organization to my fridge. And I love these little containers. It makes it look so cute, but it's also really functional. Like when I'm packing my daughter's lunch in the morning, I basically just grab one item Item from each container and it's super organized and here I am just putting everything else away I like to stock up on my essentials y'all okay like dishwashing detergent the worst thing ever is when you load the dishwasher and then you realize you ran out of detergent so I like to make sure that I'm never gonna run out same thing for paper towels you don't want to get caught with no paper towels in the house so I just like to stock up okay don't judge me check the link in my bio or my Instagram story highlights for links to all the containers you know what time it is time to put away all these groceries and my fridge was looking very sad so let's get to it Okay, so I just did a little bit of a fridge and freezer clean out, got rid of all the old nasty stuff. So it's looking like weirdly empty right now, but I also just got groceries delivered. So let's put these away. I have these containers in my fridge to help keep things organized. I like for stuff to be easy to grab. So that's why I take things out of the packaging that they come in and put them in these containers so that you can just grab and go. Want to make sure that these get eaten first, not the new ones. So I'm taking them out and I'll put them back in on top. Instead of having this ripped open cardboard box sitting in my fridge, I just think it's nicer to have it in a designated container. And then you can see exactly how much you have too. Now this might just be unnecessary but it makes me feel good, so I'ma do me, y'all do you. <laughs> okay, but when the whole box fits perfectly in the container though, come on, tell me that's not satisfying. Always recycle. Now for one of my favorite parts, the drink organizer. This is a game changer. You can get it on Amazon, link in bio. It's spring loaded, just like at the gas station. So you just load it up. And when you want to get one, it pushes the next one forward. Ah!
I'm going through a cucumber phase. Yep, pre-slice, no shame. Okay, here's what my fridge is looking like after putting away everything from one grocery store, but I normally go to at least two grocery stores to fully get everything that I need because you know, some stores carry things that other stores don't carry, but this is what it's looking like so far. I love seeing everything lined up and in the little containers. It's just so satisfying. All of the containers and everything are linked in my- Just got groceries. Let's put them away. All my organizers and everything are linked in my bio. Let's refill this first. I got Izzy. Pomegranate tea. Juice boxes. Okay, fruit cups. I got the value pack this time. These are good till July 31st, so it's a good thing to stock up on. They won't go bad. Put the old one in the front. These are shelf stable, so I just keep the back stock in the pantry. I'm just gonna put these little breakfast things in here. Hmm, I should have got one more. Milk, coffee creamer, mommy juice, butter, eggs. This pesto is bomb. This I'm trying for the first time. These can go here. Veggie drawer. Caesar salad, baby spinach, cucumbers, cabbage, pre-sliced apples. Yep, I'm willing to pay for that. Couple tomatoes. These I'll keep out in the fruit basket. Bananas, avocados, limon, shallot. Okay, last few things for the fridge. Y'all were asking me about this salmon. It's from H-E-B. It's the garlic butter salmon. Clearly, I'm a garlic girl. Now we gotta play Tetris in the freezer. Just realized I forgot to buy more Uncrustables. Okay, let's see. Stack everything up. Do you really have a five-year-old if you don't have dino nuggets in your freezer? These are gluten and dairy free and they're super good. Eh, good enough. Pantry items. It's an obsession. Everything has its place. These go in here. Boop. And these go in here. Boop. Part two of putting away my groceries. So I already did the refrigerator. I just have a few more things to restock. So let's do the cereal. The link for this cereal dispenser is in my bio. Okay, coffee pods. Well, that's not satisfying. <laughs> I'll have something like this linked in my bio as well. 
I just get the refills for these because I have these little custom bottles that I made and it uses less plastic, so it's better for the environment. fridge is looking empty so you know what that means it's grocery time fun fact it doesn't say it on the front but this is actually dairy free mommy juice white mommy juice red every time i need a lemon or a lime for some reason i never have any on hand so i like to just keep this as emergency backup now for the beverages Save the sea life. This drink holder dispenser thingy is linked in my bio. Cream soda and ginger beer. I'm kind of a grandma. But I don't know, this ginger beer is kind of spicy. Definitely more razzle dazzle than regular ginger ale. These are super good and also dairy free. They're made with soy milk which isn't my favorite type of milk, but I'll take it. And of course we gotta have some sweet tea. One, two, three. Always keep juice boxes on deck for Zaya's school lunch. I've already got some apple in the fridge, so let's stock the fruit punch flavor. And voila. Extra juice boxes go in the pantry in the back stock area. And I'm actually going to pull out these mandarin cups from before and restock them. I only stocked about half the box the first time. And this little container is ready to be refilled. Y'all didn't like the way that I stacked them up in here. But that's too damn bad. Last time I realized that five of these, I think, was the perfect number to fit in this container, but they only had three left at the store. How unsatisfying. I really liked the regular queso from this brand that I tried for the first time last time, so this time I'm trying the chorizo version. One of my favorite vegan cheeses. Still got spinach and salad from last week. Adding more apple slices and cucumbers. Should I do a part two? My fridge looks kind of atrocious right now, if you ask me. So let's see if we can fix it. Just got my groceries delivered. Had to re-up on a few things because, you know, stuff is looking empty. Let's start here. Meanwhile, Zaya is putting away stuff in the pantry. Good job. Look how good she did the goldfish. But look, I think I finally was able to get the exact amount of these little... Uh-oh, no, no, no. We must have them all the right way. Yes! Love that for me. Yes. Okay, now let me just rearrange a few things. Okay, so now we have some nice space to work with. Y'all was making fun of my six pack of eggs. Got a dozen this time. Scrawberries, lettuce, and tomatoes because I'm making burgers and I like my tomatoes in the fridge because I like my tomatoes cold. Leave me alone. This is the best Caesar salad kit. Don't at me. Almost forgot the apples. They haven't had this in stock, but I finally got some. You know the drill by now. I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and do two rows of these since I didn't get a bunch of different types of drinks this time. And I think I can fit them all in here. Normally if they don't all fit or I have a bunch of different things I wanna put in here, I just keep the back stock in the pantry. But two rows fits the whole pack perfectly. Speaking of back stock, we're gonna do these very berry juice boxes. These are all from the same box, so the old ones can be in the back because they're not actually any older than these ones. Relax. Let's do another container since we have space. I still have two empty slots, but that's okay. I didn't buy any ginger ale this time. Oat milk is the goat milk. Did y'all see my coffee TikTok that ended in tragedy? Five-year-old approved. My whole fridge can't be aesthetically pleasing all the time. Best dairy-free yogurt I have ever tried. I normally get my groceries from HEB, but I actually find the best plantains at Walmart. Refrigerator organization. So my sister moved into a new house and I thought a good housewarming gift would be to organize and completely deck out her pantry. So we started by taking everything out of her pantry and she had a lot of stuff in there. And then the next step was to just wipe down all the shelves and then start prepping all of the containers. So what makes a nice aesthetic organized pantry is the baskets, the bins, things like that. So I bought her a whole bunch of stuff from the container store, Target, places like that, and just started placing them to get an idea of how I wanted everything everything to go using sticky notes to get an idea of what might go inside each container. Then of course you have to remove all the labels and stickers, wash everything out that's going to have, you know, loose food in it. I had a nice little helper helping me dry everything. And then from there we were able to actually fill up the containers with all of her loose items like quinoa and lentils and rice. And she also had a whole bunch of seasonings, which I repotted into these cute little glass jars. We put custom labels on all of the jars with a font of her choosing using the Cricut machine and we just used a funnel to put all the spices into each jar. This just looks so much better than having a bunch of random plastic mismatched containers. Some people think that this is just useless but to me 
it makes a world of a difference. I mean, just look at how nice this looks and you can buy your spices in bulk to refill them, which is better anyway. And I just went ahead and put them on these stainless steel turntables so that they would be easily accessible and also just started placing all the rest of the filled jars into her pantry, just paying attention to how I'm grouping everything together by category. Things that make more sense to stay in their original packaging like snacks can go in a basket just so it looks nicer. You can put vegetables in a wire basket to keep them grouped together. And then for things like baking powder, and baking soda we created little plastic airtight containers that way the stuff can actually stay fresher because the original containers that they come in a lot of times don't close on their own so basically anything that did not come in a resealable container we put into a nice labeled resealable container and it's nice that they're clear so you can see exactly how much you have so not only do all these containers labels and baskets look super cute but they actually help to keep things organized so you can see what you have they keep things more fresh so you're not wasting food it really does serve a functional purpose and it just is a plus that it looks so much cuter and i will have all of the containers and stuff that i used linked in my bio ready to see your new pantry you ready dun, 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 dun. Wow, Bella. look how nice look at all of mommy's spices I tend to let my fridge get pretty empty before I restock because I just feel like we need to be creative and use up what we have before just buying more stuff. But Sundays are my restock days, so let's do it. Cherry mixed fruit cups, two four packs of those. Mandarin orange fruit cups, two four packs of those. Danimals should fit in here nicely. Cute. Dee -dee -dee. Uncrustables. Perfect fit. Wow. Store was sold out of Gogurt and the little breakfast things that I normally get. So I guess this will stay empty for now. My freezer is really full and really messy right now, but we'll just add this one little spot of organization. <laughs> they didn't have the big one, so I got two of the regular ones. And I always buy these in twos because we use it a lot. And then here's the one that's almost empty. Wow. Really tempted to buy two more of these just so I can have a whole row and just have it be like stocked up. <laughs> Definitely gonna buy one of those cute egg holder things because this ain't it. Yes, I do buy protein and fresh veggies. That's just not as satisfying for the restock videos. One day I'm gonna get to the point where I like prep and chop and repackage the veggies all nicely, but today's not that day. Today is a just throw it in the veggie drawer kind of day. I'm gonna make a Syrian fatouche salad, stay tuned. The onion I'm gonna put in the pantry though, just by himself in his little spot. Sana -sa, sana -sa. That's the only dinner thing you bought? I have a lot of dinner stuff in my freezer. Also, there's only one adult and one child living here and the child is very picky. Okay, now for my favorite part, the beverages. Let me just drink this now so I can get it out the way. Pretty good, by the way. I'm gonna put these in here like that. Two rows of these, like that. I saw the other TikTok moms getting these for their kids' lunch, so I got these for my kids' lunch. These gonna go here. Two rows as well. And then the last two rows will be for these juice boxes. Ta-da! Ooh, ah. I have this thingy and all my other containers and stuff linked in my Amazon storefront, which is linked in my bio. That's pretty much it for the fridge. Now let's do the K-Cups. One 12 pack and a second one. It literally holds 24 of them perfectly. So satisfying. Cereal goes in here. Ta-da! I love organizing my groceries and taking everything out of the original container and putting it into cuter containers. So I recently upgraded my grocery fridge organization. I bought some new egg holders and also these new bottles. So enjoy this video of me taking my food out of the original container that it comes in and putting it into these cuter containers. Now with this egg holder thing, it came as a set of two and in each tray, it holds 14 eggs. And I think 14 is kind of a strange number for an egg holder because normally you get a dozen eggs or maybe a pack of six, maybe a pack of 18, but not 14. So I thought that was weird, but I just so happen to have exactly 14 eggs because I had two eggs in the previous carton and I bought a new carton of 12. So that worked out perfectly for me this time. I just needed to use one of the holders and I put the other holder in my cabinet, but I do think that's a little bit weird, but I do like the way that it looks. Next, I'm taking the Go-Gurts and putting them in this little simple container just because I think it's more functional and it looks cuter. I mean, it's way better than having a ripped up cardboard box in my fridge. And look how nicely they look next to each other. 
Okay, now I have these three juices and it's 52 ounces in each juice. And then I have 12 of these bottles that I got off of Amazon. So if I do four bottles per thing of juice, it should just barely fit with a little tiny swig of juice left over. I did the math, I used a calculator and everything. So yes, I am taking the limeade and pouring it out of the thing that it came in into these individual size bottles because I just like the idea of having individual servings. And yes, you can buy limeade that already comes in individual servings, but they cost like $3 per serving. So I'm just DIYing it. And I think it's nice because then you can take it on the go. And yes, I just drank the little bit of juice that didn't fit. I mean, it's for me to drink anyway, so might as well finish it off. It's not that big of a deal. It was like one sip of juice that didn't fit in the bottle. So I did it for limeade, I'm doing this raspberry lemonade, and I'm also going to do orange juice. And it's just going to be so nice to just be able to grab this bottle out the fridge. You don't need to get a glass, don't need to pour yourself a cup of juice. You just grab the bottle, you can take it with you on the go, put it in your lunchbox, whatever you need to do. And let's just be honest, the bottles are just really cute. These would also be perfect if I was squeezing my own fresh squeeze juice at home and wanted to bottle it up, but I'm lazy, so... But wow, look how nice this looks compared to how it comes from the store. And then look how nice my fridge looks. I mean, you cannot tell me that this is not satisfying. Honestly, I'm just getting started. There's still more containers that I could get. I picked up a few things from the grocery store and you know me, I love to take everything out of their original containers and put them into cuter coordinating containers. So let's do that. Starting off with this raspberry lemonade, I am bottling it up into these individual serving size bottles that I got off of Amazon. I will have everything linked in my Amazon storefront in my bio if you guys wanna check out these containers. But I just like doing this because then you can just grab and go. You don't have to get a glass. And I try to make these as even as possible and get every last drop in there and then i'm moving on to these fruit cups i always keep fruit cups on deck because they are one of zaya's favorite things so i'm moving the older ones to the front and on top so those get eaten first and then i'm just filling up this little container with um, a bunch more of these mandarin orange fruit cups and i will have some left over in this bulk box but these are shelf stable so i'll just keep the rest in my pantry until i need to refill this container that goes into the fridge this big old cardboard box definitely would not fit nicely in my fridge so this just works a lot better and then moving on to these danimal smoothies again this cardboard holder thing is useless once you open it and then having all these little smoothies just loose in your fridge is not very functional so i'm just putting them in this clear container some people are just so anti-container, but you can't tell me that that doesn't make more sense. Moving on to the eggs, I have these egg holders that came as a set of two from Amazon. And I normally buy brown eggs, but I had some white ones left over from Easter because I got white so we could decorate them. And so at first I put them in like this, but then it was really bothering me. So I took the white ones out and just put the brown ones in and they fit perfectly, except the white eggs were just kind of like in the way. So we're not going to talk about the white eggs. We're just going to pretend like they weren't there. Now moving on to the Uncrustables, I'm actually putting them in this container that's actually meant for soda cans but it fits the uncrustables so perfectly like an entire box of uncrustables fits exactly in this container so satisfying refilling my pasta jar and then i will put all of these containers away in the pantry freezer and refrigerator
fridge is super empty. So you know what that means. It's grocery day. This is my H-E-B haul, but sometimes I like to get certain things from Walmart and Trader Joe's, so that'll come later. But I'ma just start with this for today. Caesar salad kit, Tuscan herb salad kit, turkey and ham. When we open this, I'll transfer it into a better container, but I'ma just put it in here like this for now. Pesto, chicken salad that I like to eat with crackers. Jimmy Dean morning combos, pancakes and sausage. I wanted five of these, they only had two at the store. I'm just gonna put them like this, I guess. If I had more of them, I'd line them all up in one of these things. Vegan blueberry muffins. Just put these here. Not very aesthetic so far, but mm. Fruit cups. I got the cherry mixed fruit and mandarin oranges. They go in here. Go-gurt goes in here. Oat milk, cinnamon, vanilla cream, coffee creamer, plant-based protein. I wanted more of these in the different flavors, but these are the only two they had at the store. Ginger ale, one, two, three, four, five. And the sixth one does not fit, unfortunately. So I always just, you know, keep it to the side for me to drink right now. Chocolate milk for Zaya's lunch. I'm just gonna do one row of these. And then for the Capri Suns, I'm gonna refill this row that I've already got going. And I went ahead and added a second row. Last but not least for the beverages, I have these sparkling ices. So for this last slot here, I'm just gonna do like one of each flavor. Lemon lime, grape raspberry, strawberry watermelon, and classic lemonade. The rest of these extras will go in the pantry. Then I have grapes and strawberries, which I have now washed. Look at this one. Oh. And peeled and deveined. I don't know if they'll both fit in this container, but... Oh, okay, okay, okay. But will all these strawberries fit is the question. The answer is yes. These containers are linked in my Amazon storefront. I'll just put this right there. Avocados, move these limes out the way. Bananas, and we're gonna need a part two. Part two of putting my groceries away. Part one is already up on my page. For my freezer, I have this little skinny freezer. It's not aesthetically pleasing. I have a piece of paper towel that's frozen to this shelf that I can't get off, but we just gonna make it do what it do. Vegan mac and cheese, some little quick meals for Zaya, these things and these pizzas. So slide these in here like that. Put this on top like that, I guess. Cause then we still gotta fit the waffles and the bag of chicken nuggets, which I'm gonna shove in this slot right here. Ugh. There. And that was all the frozen stuff, so we're good. Now for the pantry items. I put my oils and things up here in this cabinet by my stove. I feel like this is supposed to have a top on it. Isn't it? That seems questionable, but okay. This goes in here. Zaya is helping now. She already put the applesauces in there. And now for the Nutrigrain bars. Okay, and now the crackers. Go into the cracker bin. I'm gonna put these goldfish in here with the Cheez-Its. Like that. And then I'll probably just fill up these two with all of these. There's three flavors in here. I've got two bins, let's just see. So here's all the chocolate ones. And then here's all the chocolate chip, which that fits nicely, but then I still have all the rest of the honey flavor. I think I'm just gonna keep the honey flavor as back stock for now, set that aside and just put these out like that. So that's the little snack section done. This granola goes in here. I should probably change this label because I never buy dried fruit these days. These go in here. This goes in here like that. 
And I have this cereal dispenser linked on my Amazon storefront. And lastly are the K-Cups. And voila!